What's up guys, I'm Lee Morse with fstoppers.com and chances are if you're already a professional photographer or videographer, you have dual monitors in your office. It really helps with productivity, makes everything much faster and easier. But the problem is I tend to travel around a lot and uh, I don't wanna bring an extra monitor with me everywhere I go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your iPad into a secondary monitor. Check this out. Last year we created a video and showed you guys exactly how to tether your camera to an iPad so that you could take a picture, wirelessly transfer your images to the iPad and then review the pictures on a large screen or email them from there. Now I'm going to show you how to use the iPad as a secondary monitor. So this is really exciting to me for a couple of reasons. First of all, when I travel, I hate working off of a laptop simply because I hate working on one monitor. When you've worked with two, it's such a pain to have to work on one confined monitor. But the other thing that's really exciting about this is the fact that this monitor is completely battery powered. So if you happen to be in an airplane or you happen to be in an airport or somewhere that you don't have power, it's really not a big deal. You could be in a coffee shop and have dual monitors very simply. And then of course you can pack it down so small. I mean, check this out. Dual monitors in a size like that, you really can't beat it. And, um, I take both of these with me everywhere I go anyway, so might as well use them together. All right, so setting up the iPad as a second screen is very, very easy. The first thing that you need to do is get the Air Display app. The app costs 10 bucks, but in my opinion, 10 bucks is a very small price to pay for the fact that you can get a second display pretty much everywhere you go from now on. Now, it's gonna open up this screen and you need to install the Air Display application on your computer. This works for Windows and it works for Mac. I've currently got a uh, Windows computer right here and I've already installed it. All you need to do is be connected to the exact same network. Now, if you don't have a wireless network, we'll get to that in just a little bit, but right now I'm connected to my home network on the laptop and with the iPad. You'll see right here when I click on the Air Display app, I can see Lee's iPad 3 right here. Click the button and you'll notice it starts connecting over here. And in just a few seconds, this iPad will turn into a secondary monitor and I can easily drag applications from one screen to the other. So check this out. I can drag this over here and I can even use multi-touch to scroll on the page. And you'll notice it's not perfect, it is, it is a little bit jittery, it's going to depend on the speed of your internet, really how well this works, but it's incredibly good in my opinion, and it can be used for very specific things. So what I use the iPad for is uh, when I'm using Photoshop, I can put all of my tools and actions on the iPad, then I can use my laptop monitor to actually work with the image as large as possible on the screen. You'll find that actually clicking on things is quite fast. Moving the mouse around, you can tell there's no lag whatsoever, but moving the whole screen at once, that's when it's really going to get laggy. So as long as you put all of your little icons and tools on your iPad, you're really not gonna see much drop in speed when you're using this as a secondary monitor. One of the other cool features of this app is that you can change the orientation of where the iPad is in relation to your laptop monitor. So if you had some way to put the iPad above your monitor, we can set that up. Or if you want the iPad to the right of the monitor, we can set that up as well. Let me show you how to do that. Again, I'm just going to go to the Air Display app. Click on Display Arrangement. And then here I can see this is my main monitor here and then this is my iPad. I can easily move the iPad around, so I'll put the iPad above my screen and apply. And then now, just so you can more easily see, I'll put this up here. If I move this up, there it goes on my screen. Also, if your laptop has a monitor out jack, which many of them do, this one has HDMI, I could easily have three monitors. So I've been in hotels before where I've used the television in the hotel room as a secondary monitor, and then I could use the iPad as a third monitor as well. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, I may not have a home network that I can connect both the iPad and the laptop to. Whether you're in a plane or in an airport or maybe a hotel, there's a couple options here. 
First of all, if you have a jailbroken iPad, this is the brand new iPad, so it is not jailbroken, but if you do have a jailbroken iPad, you can use the app MyY and the iPad will create its own ad hoc network. Then you can use the laptop to connect to the iPad's network. Like I said, this is a new iPad, it's not jailbroken, so I'm going to create an ad hoc network with this computer and then connect the iPad to that. All right, I'm going to click on the start menu and then control panel and network and internet and view network status and tasks set up a new connection or network and then all the way down set up a wireless ad hoc computer to computer network I'm click on that and hit next and here we can type in a network name I'll just put in test for this, for the security type, I'm just going to type in no authentication so we don't have to have a password, but you can add a password if you want. We'll hit next. Setting up the network. And it says it is now made. Okay, so now I've got the laptop creating its own wireless network. The iPad is connected to the computer's network. I'm going to open up the Air Display app and then click on the Air Display app on my computer. All right, so as you can see now, we have the laptop and the iPad pairing. And it takes a little bit longer over an ad hoc network, but it's still not too bad. And we got it connected. Let's see how it works. Again, a little jittery when you're moving big images around, but you'll notice if I just click, all my clicks are almost instantaneous. Now, this is an iPad 3 here, and it has the Retina display, which is incredible. And one of the downsides is this screen does not get taken full advantage of when you use it with a Windows laptop. If you use this with a MacBook, then it actually will use all of the pixels. But I gotta tell you, from this distance, me standing here, it actually looks just as sharp as this monitor. So you can't take full advantage of all the pixels, but I don't feel like you really need to, as long as you're sitting back a few feet from the screen, it looks just as good as your laptop screen. Now there's a couple other cool things that this app can do. First of all, you can actually still touch the iPad. You can, you can scroll on a page, or if you had some sort of audio mixing software on your laptop, you could move it over and then touch the laptop to make the sounds, which is really cool. Using Photoshop and Premiere for me, I don't really feel like I'm going to need the touch features, but it is something extra that it does for free. One of the other things that you can do is set this whole thing to mirror mode. Let me show you how to do that real quick. If you click on options and then mirror mode, it's going to take your laptop display and mirror it over here, which is really nice. So you'll see it shrinks down your screen a little bit on this side, but if you have an application that's running here, maybe you wanna hand this thing to a client, they will be able to see whatever you're doing on your laptop, which is really, really awesome. Well guys, I hope that helps. Air Display is the app that can make this happen with your laptop and your iPad. Head over to the link below and we will have a full write-up on how to set this up with a Windows laptop and a MacBook. And head over to F-Stoppers in general if you have any interest in photography or videography. We have posts like this every single day.